Yo, what's up? It's Yo Rumi. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do lots of videos talking about building and launching online marketplace startups like Studio Time that I started. So Studio Time has been called the Airbnb for music studios, and it's the largest online marketplace for music studios in the world. Um, if you're not new, then you also know that I'm pretty obsessed with no code and no code side projects. So over this past weekend, I actually built this kind of um, lightweight resource for others to easily see how they can take their idea for a marketplace, whether it's a spaces marketplace, services marketplace, or products and good marketplace um, to live marketplace using no code. So I'm actually screen sharing it right now. So this is live, it didn't launch it or anything. Um, I just wanted to create like a, a pretty much just like a lightweight resource that kind of packages up in a very nice visual way. A lot of the tutorials that I've done in the past um, so I'll link down below in the description for this um, that you can actually see. And hopefully it helps you uh, understand how you can use no code to take your idea to live marketplace. But I want to do this video is just like a brief kind of unedited screen share and a tutorial on how I use card, which is a no code platform itself to quickly build this in about 20 minutes. So uh, this is built using card. So if you're not familiar with card, I'll link down below. Um, and uh, basically how I actually uh, kind of got started building this was I just went down the rabbit hole of researching some different no code builds over the weekend. I actually found this template marketplace called, I guess, I don't know how you pronounce it, but drrac.co. And uh, you can, I'll link down or link in the description to it, but basically you can go down and uh, this one just kind of caught my eye for this four products, multi-page kind of like showcase template. So I actually just bought that template. It was like $9, well worth it. Um, imported that into my uh, card dashboard as a template and kind of uh, started customizing it from there. Now you don't have to buy a template to use uh, to use card, but of course I thought, you know, if someone's already built this and it looks great, then why not just kind of purchase it, support a maker and then just kind of modify it for my needs and just take that idea to something uh, live that I think would be helpful for others. So um, that's what I did. Uh, it was super quick. Um, and once I, here's my uh, actual card dashboard right here. So this isn't the main dashboard. This is just a dashboard for an individual project, which was kind of like the template for what I bought. Um, I did kind of modify it, um, basically just duplicated it and kind of created my own. So um, I'm just going to walk you through uh, what this build looks like um, and how I actually kind of configured it uh, using card. So that way you can then uh, understand how I kind of built this resource right here and can hopefully build one for yourself. So we'll just kind of walk through it just uh, pretty much like uh, top to bottom. But basically, um, I'll take you back over here to the live one quick so we can demo it. So this is the main kind of like page for it right here. So it's three marketplace tutorials. Um, based off what you want to create as a marketplace, uh, you could then click on get started. So this is the first page. And then if you click on get started for spaces, you'll see that then links you to a different URL, which is basically the spaces marketplace tutorial. So this is an individual page and then you can go back, right? So, um, or you could click up here on the top and the all kind of goes back. So basically there's only four main pages for this entire kind of site. Uh, like, and it could be like a micro site or kind of um, product. Uh, resource for others. So now that you kind of see all the different pages right here, we'll just kind of click through them again so you can see. Um, okay, so now we'll just jump back into card so that way you can see how I actually kind of built it or configured it. So at, at, here's the top. Um, so just kind of starting at the top, I didn't have a section or, or a control break up here as far as a header or anything. That would probably be ideal. That's what the template used. Um, but I just simply have a control up here for home, which basically is kind of like the URL for the home. So that way, when I kind of go back from each individual page uh, where the tutorials are. Uh, but up here, um, here's a container right here. So all this text in the three share tribe marketplace tutorials, this kind of subtext that's like gray. And then this link on the um, top right, which is to the marketplace community that I started and run. Um, this is just an individual container. Um, and then you can see the different settings of it right here. But like, uh, as I mentioned, this is a container that I added as an element to the main kind of like blank canvas or the blank page. And then this is a column. Um, so this isn't default. So since I want to have these two uh, text on the left and then the right, and then in line, um, I have to make it a column. So you'll see the columns is 70% on the left, 30% on the right. And then of course there's individual kind of settings for it right here. 
But anything that has kind of text in line right here on the left, right, and then even in the middle, um, it would need to be a container and not uh, that is column and not default. So, uh, so it's fairly straightforward. You can see this top container, and then now we'll just kind of go down. So uh, literally just kind of each uh, different container and element on the page. So below this is gonna be another container. And this one, as you can see, is kind of like a main kind of um, section um, where we have the Spaces Marketplace tutorial, of course. So this container right here, um, you can see the width setting has some padding, so vertical and horizontal, which basically means um, that there is gonna be more space between the text and then this kind of like container that has this like uh, Airbnb color red background. Then also too, it doesn't go the full width, so it's kind of pulled in horizontally, which you can see that's what this three padding is for. Now to make it that kind of color, which is like the Airbnb kind of color, I literally just Googled the Airbnb kind of color code and then I pasted it right here and then that's the background. You can see as far as like, it has a pretty cool like drop shadow effect around it and then it has corner rounding and the way that that is done is by adding this drop color code right here. It's kind of changing the blur of it. You can change the distance and then the angle of it. Um, and then the corner rounding, as I mentioned, is up here. So that's like the setting for 1.375, very specific, but that's the kind of the corner rounding. So um, then how I added this text and this image to within the container is once again, as I mentioned, for if you wanna add uh, el or different elements, whether that's like text and images or even video embeds um, in line, um, then you need to add a column. So I did add like a 50% column on the left and then 50% column on the right. So this is two columns. And then within those columns, I then added this text. So this is just simple text right here. And then to make it left aligned, I can kind of go down the alignment to the left. Um, same with this text below it. And then this is an element of a button that I simply added below the text. Now this image over here, actually just pulled it directly from uh, Undraw, which is a great um, free kind of like illustration resource. So I saved it as an SVG, so that way it didn't have a white background and it would uh, overlay nicely on this background. And I simply just um, clicked on, basically I added an element to this kind of container and I click upload. And as you can see over here in, the, um, in this kind of preview, it has that kind of a background, which is like an SVG has. And then it looks great, I think at least, um, over here, over set on this individual container. Now the button, as you kind of saw when I first did like a brief demo of this actual like live product or live resource, um, the way that you then link to those individual pages, which there are three different pages um, for each of these three different tutorials from this homepage is the actual kind of URL right here. So you can just see it's like spaces uh, marketplace. And that is, um, I'll show you right here. So that then links to the individual page. And as we go down, you'll see that that's the control break right here for this then individual page in the kind of the card editor. So that's jumping ahead a little bit, but, uh, but we'll go down. Uh, so here's the containers I mentioned. That's pretty much covers like the actual kind of container, how um, the, all the different settings of it, the layout, and then the different elements within it. Now to basically create the services marketplace tutorial container in this products and goods, um, it's very easy. You can literally click down here on this control. You can make, make a copy. So as you see, it just made a copy. And then I can pretty much just edit the text. I can edit the colors. I can add in the different image and replace it with this one down here. And that's pretty much how um, you can create all the three different uh, containers. So we'll just delete that because this is a kind of a quick demo. But those are all the three main containers. Um, down here in the footer, this is actually... Um, I actually didn't add it as a, you could add a control break and just have one footer um, for the entire kind of like canvas of your entire kind of project and, and card. Um, that would be ideal. This is kind of like an amateur move to not do that. But uh, here's an individual container. So um, basically it's like a back a black background and it has two elements. Um, so you see these are in line. So as I mentioned, it has to be columns right here. And then these are just text elements within it. Um, so we'll just go down here. You can see the text right here. Now, one thing I did uh, do want to mention is just kind of like a, a trick that some people uh, don't really know on a card unless they've used it extensively is like to basically link out in a new window. Um, you can add this on the after the URL and then you add a backslash, you can add the at blank. And then that way, when you click on this, it opens that link in a new window. 
So that's super helpful because as you'll notice, um, all these three different main containers link to individual pages. But if you click on, for instance, this marketplace community at the top right, or you click on need help, or you click on Yo Rumi, which is my social, or you click on this link to the everything marketplace's free resources. Um, I didn't really want to have in the same uh, in the same tab that go from this site. Um, so it's in a new window, which I think is great. Um, so that way people can see those resources, but then kind of come back to here without having to go back um, or enter the URL again. So, um, so we'll go down. So we're going to go down and just kind of through uh, the next individual page that we created for the spaces marketplace. And once again, um, we'll just go to the live right here. So we're going to click on this. So here's, uh, once again, here's the, the main kind of like the main state homepage for this um, resource. You can click on that. And then here's what it actually looks like live. So it's a Spaces Marketplace tutorial page. So this is the specific page for that tutorial. Now we're going to go back to card. I just want to show you like what that looks like live. So that way you can see uh, what it looks like in the edit state. And you have that kind of relation point to it. Um, so once again, at the top, this container is simply just two different columns um, with the with the text elements within it. Now this container below, um, I actually just duplicate the container from that home page and then just change the height of it. So the height, as you can see, is a lot smaller. And then this is just simply a text within the container. Now below that, I added some uh, another container with more text. So this text is just pretty much like the brief description that was on uh, in this container. So for instance, Spaces Marketplace tutorial. And this, I guess you could say, is like a description, right? So it's like build an Airbnb style marketplace for physical spaces and homes. So I added that right here. So that way it makes sense um, from you know just this title up here. Then I also below it, I added another text. And this is just a different color because I thought that would kind of uh, be like help it kind of differentiate a little bit from this description, but basically added some helpful information like time to complete. So if you're looking to build this, you would know, hey, maybe this takes 30, 30 to 45 minutes. So it's a quick kind of like weekend side project. The tools that, it, um, that you'll need in order to build this, which is ShareTribe, and then an example, which is Studio Time, which of course I started. So uh, yeah, so everything's kind of in, in right here, everything you'll need in order to get started. Now the actual tutorials, um, I wanted to keep everything visual. So instead of just being extensive text, I just kind of broke apart uh, part one, part two, part three. And then I have supporting text that helps you easily identify, um, you know, like what's covered, uh, what steps are covered in that particular part. And then I just embedded videos right here. So I've actually done uh, other videos on this channel that you're watching this from um, for how to build marketplaces using ShareTribe. And I've actually done them for each of those three main marketplace types. So for spaces, for services, and then um, for uh, for physical goods. So um, with that said, it was very easy to then create this um, kind of resource uh, that I'm walking you through now. Because all I have to do then is just add this kind of these main pages for it, and then you know supporting text of it, and then embed these videos right here, which is part one, part two, part three. So when I did that, I just added an element for the video, and then the type. So it's an embed; it's not an upload then enter the URLs. I did change the sizing a little bit and the spacing so that way it's ideal for this kind of like the page layout and view. Um, but it's fairly straightforward. Um, below those, I added a back button and then I also added another kind of like container right here that does have like a drop shadow um, as you can see around it and then a button to hire us. So basically what I was kind of thinking here is that I wanted to make a resource um, that makes it easy for anyone to kind of see, hey, I might have a marketplace idea for one of these three main marketplace types. Um, here's some kind of like very visual first tutorials on how I could get started building one. Um, here's the tools that I'll need, you know, some examples of live marketplaces and then the videos. And then also too, if they need help with it, of course, they could hire Thinkbox, which is the kind of agency that I run, I guess you could say. Um, which we help uh, people build and launch their marketplaces using no and low code, um, or they could also join the marketplace founders group that I run. So it kind of packages up uh, everything together nicely that I've already done uh, and that I focus on. So that's the kind of um, individual page for the, spa uh, for the spaces tutorial. Um, now to go down for the services marketplace tutorial, um, I literally just duplicate every uh, element and just modified it for this page. So as you'll see, just the different color, this kind of like yellowish, goldish, or beige. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Um, but uh, added, added that, um, added this individual kind of text. Uh, and then these examples right here. 
kind of broke it down into like part one, part two, since I did two videos for this one. And then of course have the back button and then these just kind of customization right here of this button, um, but it's pretty much the same. So, um, so it's very straightforward, this entire kind of build, um, I think took like maybe 20 or 30 minutes, um, you know, just using card right here. Um, and pretty much is just a way to kind of repackage together a lot of existing content, a lot of existing examples, um, and a lot of what I do, which is um, marketplaces in no code. And uh, hopefully it's a helpful resource for others that might not, um, you know, be aware of these tutorials on how to build and launch an online marketplace uh, using no code, uh, whether that's a spaces, services, or products and good marketplace tutorial. So hopefully you, you found this video in itself helpful. And, um, you know, you could use card to then build your own kind of um, curated kind of tutorial product for others. Um, you could even have this as products or goods yourselves and then have individual kind of pages for those that people could purchase or just kind of view. Um, but yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, I just try to do a lot of videos just kind of walking through on how I just kind of build some of these side projects or even um, companies, say for instance, Studio Time, um, which was actually built using no code originally and then now built using low code. But uh, if you have any questions on this, definitely uh, comment below because I do try to answer all the comments and uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you found it helpful because it uh, keeps me motivated to uh, keep making these videos. And until next video, see ya.